This is a semi-tool STI ST460 spin rinse dryer wafer cleaner. It's 120 volts and runs at 15 amps. On the top we have the actual uh, rinse and wash unit. Uh, you can see we have our system power indicator here. When our door is sealed, this will be illuminated. When our heater is on, this is illuminated. So our door is not sealed, so we're able to open it. And here we have our uh, rotor. And uh, this will automatically center itself uh, when the, the unit stops so that the wafer tray is in an upright position. And down below is our controller. And uh, over here is our power off and on and fuses. Um, your two modes of operation are manual or automatic. Automatic operates on resistivity and manual runs on time. Uh, our next set of gauges here is for the uh, RPMs for each cycle, the rinse, dry one, and dry two. And then rinse time, dry one time, and dry two time here. And as it goes through the modes, uh, it will indicate here. Um, if you're in automatic mode, the rinse time uh, will go, and then if it's not met rinse time, uh, or not met resistivity readings, this is when you're in automatic, it will not go to the next mode. It will continue to rinse until it does. Uh, in manual mode, it disregards the resist resistivity reading, and it will just go according to whatever times are programmed in here. When you turn it on, it initially comes to a 9 here, and if there's no problems uh, with turn-on, such as the gases or whatever, it's, this will go down to a 0. So once these are set to the way you want them, you don't need to do much. Uh, we're going to run in manual mode for the essence of time, and plus uh, resistivity is going to indicate low. See, now th this is your resistivity monitor, and it's reading high right now, so because uh, there's no water flowing across it. Um, normally you would you would want something you know 12 or higher usually depending on what you're running um, that may not be a an important factor for you whatever you're doing uh, but our media has expired for uh, this and so if you look at our this is our di source and as you can see we're very low on the on that so our media has expired so i'm going to not be able to get a high reading that being said, here we are, we're, we're ready for operation. Your start and your stop are here. Stop, if it's in a timed mode, uh, you know, and you're willing to let it run for the time, uh, will not have, will, you don't need to do it, it'll just stop automatically. And the same thing in automatic. But if you want to stop it early, you can here. So we're gonna start it, and we'll go through the rinse cycle, then the dry cycles. So you can see our door. That's locked, and we have water uh, coming through here. And down here, you can see we're counting down, and we're in the first cycle. You can see our resistivity reading here. has a much higher RPM for the dry cycle. So the first dry cycle is very high, the second dry cycle is low, and you can see our heaters have, have come on. And we're in the second stage. As you can see here, now we've got to the third stage. Our RPMs are decreasing. So at this point, the cycle has completed. It's going through some internal checks. Once it completes those checks, you'll hear it engage, it'll disengage the door, 
and it'll write uh, the uh, wafer tray. This requires a nitrogen source and a DI water source to operate properly, and uh, your connections are, are here for that. The wafer uh, water drain is here, goes out past the sensor, goes down through the drain system, and I have it hooked up to a drain. So that's all the connections that need be uh, connected to the system, and you have a, an on and off control here.